Hello my fellow NO fans, my name is Peter and in this tutorial for NO 1800 I'm going to show you how to kick out the parts from their little but heavily fortified island hideaway. I will explain to you how to use unarmed ships as cannon bait and damage shields, how to pick apart the parts island's defenses to soften it up and finally how to kick them off the island with almost zero losses to your military armada. Now just a short intro about the sandbox game and video tutorial and I will move on to my first point. As I was preparing my videos on all the different production and city building layouts, which I will link up here and in the description below once they are finished, I was playing this custom sandbox game and decided to remove the parts from the map. I had already blockaded them and farmed them for loot, something I have talked about in my previous tutorials on NO1800, again the link is up here and in the description below, but I wanted more free time to test out different layouts, so I messed my military warships and set their guns on the pirate base. The first thing I did was to set up my military fleet in a position and orientation with favorable winds at their backs. This will give my ships top speed and maneuverability as they attack the pirate's island. Because all the different ships move and turn at different speeds, I first separated out my gunships, frigates and ships of the line so they won't block each other. You can see the two clippers unarmed civilian ships there as well. They are used as cannon bait to draw away the fire from pirate coastal cannons as my military ships move in since the coastal cannons have superior range. As my aim right now is just to destroy the outer defensive layer of the pirate's island, I order my ships to sail past the pirate coastal cannons but fire off their broadsides as they move away. With enough ships and firepower, one pass is enough to destroy this gun emplacement. Then I let my ships sail past the next one and fire off their broadsides again. With the defenses softened up like this, I now let my ships get in a bit closer as they take out yet another pirate gun emplacement. I move them from one side to the next as they keep damaging the pirates cannons on their way and this also spreads the damage among my ships, reducing the chances of a single ship being damaged for too long and then sunk. The bar at the top represents the amount of damage you have to inflict to the pirates and their defenses before they will surrender and run away from the island. This is achieved after you destroy enough cannons, the coastal gun emplacements and damage the main fortress. With this pirate cannon taken out, the outer layer of their defenses has been totally crushed. Now I will split my fleet into two pieces as each part of it will sail into the middle of the pirate's island at the same time from both sides to minimize the damage the pirate's biggest gun, Big Betty, will inflict on them. Each shots have an area of effect splash damage which can damage and destroy several ships at once if they are packed in too tight. Once again I send my unarmed civilian ships as cannon bait but for the most part the defensive cannons ignore these ships and only the anchored part frigate keeps shooting at them. Before we watch the main assault, I just want to remind you to hit that like button if you are enjoying this video and leave a comment or even subscribe if you would like to see more content such as this. Now as I sail my ships into the danger zone, I make sure to position them in such a way that they can open fire from both sides and deliver one broadside onto each pirate cannon on each side of the ship. This maximizes their damage output and reduces the time they will be taking damage. The reason why I haven't even bothered attacking Big Betty is that the reload speed of that cannon is so long that all of this will be over before it can take more than two shots. My ships make short work of another two cannon emplacements and I give the final order to all ships. With the pirates main fortress almost completely destroyed, the pirates give up their island and flee. Out of my entire fleet I have lost only one gunship. Do note that you cannot ever kick the pirates out for good, they will keep coming back and you have to keep sinking their ships before they reach the abandoned pirate island, if they do reach it, they will resettle it and you are back to square one. And that would be everything that I wanted to cover in this video. You can watch my other tutorials and tips about NO1800 by clicking on one of the cards on the screen right now. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!